Hi friends, welcome back to Angular project tutorial series. We already installed the Angular project and installed Postman to test API and we are using the JSON server as a backend as the Angular have no database. That's the reason we will use the JSON server as a database for my application and I installed a JSON server also. So if you don't see the previous video, you can see from my playlist, the link will provide in the description sections. So last day we have created these links. So basically these links are clickable now and we have created the five components that is for student add, edit, listing, login and register. So all the components is located under the components folder. Now the thing is here we can see a simple link but i want some more design i need to beautify this thing so i want to use the bootstrap and we'll use the proper navigation to show this very beautiful right so in this video we'll going to add a bootstrap and we'll create a navigation section and we'll do change some components file so first install the bootstrap so to install bootstrap we need to go angular bootstrap and here you can see the ng bootstrap github.io so here we can see the bootstrap widgets and this is the command to install bootstrap so just copy this and paste it here right so just enter this so it will install bootstrap inside your application so it will it may take some time so the package will install and execute it would you like to proceed so yes of course so click on yes so actually installing packages it may take some times to install into application okay so bootstrap is installed and you can see the there is some files updated that is package.json and it's updated the app module ts and angular jsons and the polyfills.ts right so now if you just go to the visual studio code here inside the package.json so just go to the package.json so here right so you can see the angular localize is installed and here you can see this is added that is bootstrap version 10.0.0 .0 .0 and this is the bootstrap 4.5.0 right and if you just go to the angular json so just go here angular json in the styling section so if you just go to the styling then you can see the bootstrap main.css is added and inside the app module.ts file you can see the bootstrap is also added right so by the comment we are getting all the things right so bootstrap is installed into our application so just close these things and now i want to create a navigation so just use the get bootstrap right and if you just go here and you can see the getting started and just search a nav bar right so you will get the many example for navigation so you can see this kind of things with the search box with the drop down and here also will get this type of things and i need simple bootstrap navigation so i like these things so just copy this right you can copy any things and just paste just before the top section and now if we just check we can see the output okay so output is not coming the reason is sometimes after installation of bootstrap it's not updating so there's a reason just close the server and rerun again that is ng serve okay so i am restarting my server and it's generating browser application bundles so let's quit so compiled successfully so now if we just go here you can see the navigation section is appearing so we need to add this link here right so how we can do this so i want to remove which are not neat so i just remove this and i am taking one for example so just right here the router link that is add so i don't need active 
because the active is for to display in highlight mode or to know which menu is selected so we don't need right now we'll do this later so just to go here and in the same way just copy all the things so just copy these things right so all the li and here right all the class so this is the class i am adding this is basically the bootstrap class right and we'll use this nav link class inside the anchor tag right so i'm adding all these things right and finally format the document right so you can do this so that it will look more consistent right so just remove these things for now we don't need this because we have created a nice navigation section so just go here you can see the five menus appear so now if we just click on add student you can see the add student works list student the list student works but i want to change this design also so i want to see all the things which are coming from the component file it should look like very beautiful or i want some spacing here so how we can use this so as we are installed the bootstrap we can use uh, the bootstrap classes so simply use div and the class name is container and inside this we will paste the router outlet okay so where we will paste the router outlet inside this section we will get the component value here right so we are getting the list student works add student and edit student okay so if we just change here suppose inside the add student i want to add these things so instead of p i want to use the s3 tag so right here s3 and in the same way i want to use the edit student also so right here h3 so that it will looks beautiful right so i want to use the h3 for edit and then go to the list so right h3 and open the h3 tag and the two are left that is login and register so we'll do the same that is h3 so if we don't do the same it will not look very consistent so that that it should look like consistent so the last things that is s3 right and the s3 so all are added now if we just go here so we can see the login works student and it's coming into the s3 tag so we can modify the specific component html file also so next day we'll start creating api and in the list section we'll get the data from the json server right so if we just go here and start the json server so my json server is installed inside here so this is my json database so just go inside here that is cd dot dot cd and database and just run the json server actually we already shown how the json server is working and how to start this so watch db dot json right so you will see the json server is working so this is the home file so localhost 300 copy the link and paste it here so we can see this record and if we just go to the post section so you can see there are three records we can modify here from this here that is db json and we can update the records from here also so just open the db json so here you can see the post have the three records that's the reason it's showing three records so next day we'll get all the records from json server to here okay so we'll first create a list and then we'll create the add edit delete all those things all right so please comment if you have any queries about this video and don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and we'll come with the next part of this video very soon okay so thanks for watching this video have a good day bye